Good morning. I'm coming at you from the inside of my Farberware countertop dishwasher. I did a video on this earlier, about eight months ago. And I want to express a great deal of gratitude for all the views that it's gotten. I really um, appreciate that. And so since eight months ago, since it's gotten so many views in eight months, and I actually had a lot of questions and comments on it, I decided to do another video on it. So some of the questions I've gotten are like, where does the soap go? And what a great question. I should have answered that in the last video. So here's the door. When you open this up, normally, so here's what it looks like with the, um, the tray in there. And when you open it up normally, this is probably what you'll see. You might also have the fruit tray, which I have never used, so I don't know where that's at. It's probably right here somewhere. But anyways, you pull out this tray, put your stuff in, but the soap, the soap goes right here in this little kind of dent or divot. You just take your soap and I've been using the Cascade Complete or the Finish Quantum uh, little pods. Just decide on which whatever I put in the mood for. You just drop a pod right in there. It works, seems to work fine. Or the Cascade Complete, you just dump some in there and it seems to work fine uh, either way. So been using those. They've been working great. I can recommend either one of them. But today we're going to talk about cleaning it and maintaining it. Um, so let's talk about that. So we'll take out this tray and here, right here, is this filtering process. You twist this, it's really easy, pops out, you got this filter. And after a lot of washing, this filter will get caked up with some nasty food gunk. And you want to wash it. So I recommend taking it into the bathroom and using a high pressure shower head and just really rinsing in there well. So I'm going to do that now and then we're going to show you some more steps. Okay, so I got it as clean as I could. So we're going to put it right back in here just like that and we're going to twist it back up. I didn't even show you that. Really again. We're going to take this. This thing here goes facing toward the back on the corner. It really only fits in one way. Oh yeah, so I had a comment in one of my, in the last video, saying that these two screws might be a place where you put dishwashing liquid. I didn't see anything about that in the video, uh, or in the maintenance manual, I don't know about that. I've only ever used the dishwasher soap right there, so I'm not too sure what this configuration is for. Maybe if anybody else knows, they can happily put in the comments. Uh, I'm gonna dig out my manual to figure that part out. But anyways, I've cleaned that, let's put that back on, so, you got one of these Cascade Platinum dishwasher cleaner. It comes in a box like this. This is, um, I've used this to clean this before. Even after cleaning the filter, I think it's a good idea to run one of these through it. So, hands dry, get the little package out. No food, nothing in there, or no dishes in the dishwasher. Nothing in the dishwasher. Uh, these things are quite childproof. Okay, so I had to get some scissors to cut that open. Um, you can put it right here. When you put it there, it's naturally just going to end up right there when you close the door. It's going to just fall right there anyway, so you might as well put it there. Put the rack back in here. The rack can only go one way. It's got these... It's got these nifty little stoppers right there that keep it from sliding all the way out. So if you were to put it in the other way, I don't think it would work. I'm not going to try it. So put your rack back in. Now I'm going to show you the better way to fill this. So one thing I noticed about having this in the eight months, one thing I've learned is filling it. So um, I've got a little apartment, so everything just goes stacking up higher and higher to the ceiling. So I have this dishwasher sitting up on um, some file cabinets, which I use for cupboards. And so up here, uh, is where you would normally fill it. Got this little, kind of looks like a drainage hole. That's where you fill it and pour the water in there. You get, when you purchase this Farberware dishwasher, you get this um, pitcher to fill it up with. It takes about three of these. 
To speed up in the filling, what I have done, so whenever you fill up the Farberware dishwasher, you want to turn it on. And then to speed up the filling, what I've done is I've gotten a funnel and I figured out that about this much water, a gallon and the pitcher, is going to be what it takes to fill it up. So I recommend getting those two things. Okay, I've got both of the uh, containers filled up. We're going to fill it up with water here. You notice I've got it, I've already turned it on. You want to make sure you turn it on. Well, I've actually noticed it will beep either way, even if it's off, as long as it's plugged in, I suppose. It will beep when it gets full. Fill it with one, fill it with the other. Didn't fill this gallon quite all the way, so hopefully I've got enough to actually fill it. And just pour it in slow enough, you know, overflowing to fill the funnel. And what do you got? I did not have. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Perfect. I thought I didn't have enough there, but I did. That was actually the perfect amount. I did not overflow it at all, but I've overfilled it quite a few times. I've like been pouring. I've almost had an entire funnel full after it's beep, and it still works. So I'm gonna go down here. You can see it is set to normal. We're gonna push push normal there. You can change these. You can always turn on the air freshener if you want. Got these different settings, but we're gonna go ahead and go with normal. Turns off all those. 210, 158, boom. And oh, we're gonna push the start button, not the power button. So when you push the button there, it lights up inside here. You can see in there it's filling up. 